السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ما ندري عكت زمان أهلا وسهلا welcome to this video guys right so we are going through the series of 40 hadith by Mullah Ali Qali so he's compiled these 40 hadith and I think it's a very very nice selection if you guys are not familiar with this please check out the series from the beginning and if you are not familiar with my YouTube channel please uh, subscribe hit the like button and let's carry on with this then so we are on hadith number 18 Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Allahumma salli wa sallim wa barik ala Sayyidina Muhammad Seeking knowledge is a duty for every Muslim. Okay, so this is the hadith that we have over here. This hadith, I'm sure you guys have probably heard of this hadith before. Um, but I'm just going to add some extra, a little bit of explanation just to kind of give you a bit of clarification on this. So, as we know, um, you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala... He has sent down the Quran to the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Now, we all know that the Quran is the source of Islam. This is basically where everything comes from. The Prophet Sallallahu he taught it to the people and then it just kind of spread around the world. Right. So the teachings of the Quran is a very, very important thing. Um, and we all know that mankind in society, right, so imagine this is a timeline. Right, so mankind has always developed themselves with knowledge. So knowledge always, you know, or naturally increases. So let's say, for example, in the beginning, you have little knowledge and then increase and then increase and then increases. And then people start to, you know, develop like that. But the Quran's knowledge is actually all complete. When it was revealed, the Quran's knowledge was 100% complete when the Prophet Sallallahu received the entire Quran. And this is why Allah in the Quran says, Today we have completed. Today we have completed for you your faith. So, when the Quran's knowledge, just like imagine anything in life, if you want to get into any field, you need, you must learn knowledge. So, the knowledge of today's times, you need to have this much knowledge today, whereas like a doctor, for example, um, and if you were living over here somewhere, you would only need this much knowledge right, for, to be a doctor. So the knowledge is increased. But Islamic knowledge actually starts off a lot. It starts off a lot. And then as time goes by, as the society develops, the knowledge of the Quran has branches out and it gets more detailed. Um, so a Muslim, so let's say for example, this is a Muslim. A Muslim man and a Muslim woman, they both require to know all the rulings that pertain to them Islamically in any aspect of their life. So let's say, for example, like there is a father. So this guy's a father. And let's say, for example, there's a mother. The mother must know all the rulings related to her. The father must know all the rulings related to him. There's going to be you know, a lot of overlap, but there's going to be a lot of things which they need to know about like how to bring up children, how to earn halal, and so forth. Same goes, for example, a doctor. Let's say, for example, there is a doctor. This doctor will have to know all the rulings that are pertaining to medicine, that Islamically that he needs to know, right? Let's say, for example, there is a, uh, a mechanic. Yeah, so this mechanic must know, if I'm a mechanic and I'm fixing people's cars, how much can I charge them? Can I hide some costs? Can I have grease on my hands when I pray my salat and do my wudu? Right, they need to know these rules, right? So all of this is something which Allah encourages in the Quran. Learn about knowledge. Allah says, the ones who know and the ones who don't know can never be equal. Meaning, knowledge is something that empowers you. It makes you worship Allah. It makes you uh, be able to worship Allah in any aspect of your life, wherever you are. And as we know, the past nations or even other faith, if you think about them, it's like knowledge is only with a certain ind individuals, a mass the mass, you know, a vast majority of people do not have the knowledge. That's unfortunate thing that is. So as a Muslim, we must have knowledge. Yeah. So this is why the Prophet says, Talabul ilmi faridat. It's an obligation to know, like to make it simple, how to run your 24 hour life. So 24 hours of your life, you need to know the Islamic injunctions regarding it. And these Islamic rulings are going to help you to worship Allah easy as well. So remember, don't get this, don't don't think to yourself, you have to learn all of Islam. No, you don't. So imagine, for example, like everything in Islam, everything in Islam is like a piece of cake. I would say possibly no, there's like a small chunk that you need to learn. Every Muslim needs to learn, right? This is obligatory. 
Yeah, so this is the obligation. It's obligation, and the rest of it is recommended to learn. So there's lots of things that people, for example, when they study an alim course, it's recommended, uh, uh, you know, to learn those kind of things, right? But for understanding how to live your life as a Muslim, each individual's duty it is to actually study that much knowledge. And today, for example, like, you know, there's going to be someone who's just going to follow what their family does. A lot of cultural Islam. Right, so kids are going to grow up, they're just going to follow what their parents will be doing and, and they come to a situation where they get stuck, right? they have to contact a scholar. Yeah. So this is why, how do, how do these people learn knowledge? So there's two ways that you can learn the knowledge. You can either study, formally study the knowledge, right? so systematically you go through the sciences to learn. right? Or the other way is to ask a scholar. You ask a sheikh or ask a sheikha, uh, you ask them a scholar. You ask them a question rather than asking a scholar. You ask them a question and then that will clarify for you how you're supposed to be doing that thing. And a lot of people will ask me questions. A lot of people, you know, will ask imams and, and sheikhs questions about things. So this is all part of this hadith. Talabul ilmi, seeking knowledge, is an obligation upon every single Muslim, right? And in fact, this is so important that the scholars actually say, it's like a really important point I think I should mention over here, which is a scholar is not permitted to conceal important knowledge yeah so there is no permission to conceal and the prophet sallallahu said in the hadith of abu huraira that anyone who conceals a knowledge when they are when they, anyone who conceals knowledge when they are asked and that is something really important allah on the day of judgment will seal their mouth with a with a seal yeah allah is going to seal their mouth put a seal on their mouth because they Refuse to tell the teach the people the knowledge. And if you got knowledge and you have to tell someone something really important, yes, sometimes a scholar might not tell you something because it's too complex, right? You're not really kind of needed to know that kind of topic, like usul fiqh discussions and advanced usul hadith discussions or something like that. But things that people must know is important. And what kind of things in today's times? Fine, just to finish off on this. What kind of things do people need to know? So I'm just going to make a little list of this. For example, like a Muslim needs to know. Belief. Okay, Aqeedah. This is very, very important. Every Muslim needs to know the fundamental aspects of Aqeedah. Like we worship Allah. We don't associate anyone with Him. Uh, Allah is uh, the one that is free of any defects and so forth. And Allah sent messengers. And we believe that the laws of Allah are the best laws out there. Number two is we also need to understand how uh, to pray our Salah. Yeah, how to pray salat, very, very important. These are basic things, how to do wudu, how to take a bath. And I made some videos on these as well that you can check out on my YouTube channel as well. Uh, number three is you also need to understand the rights of other people over you. Right? This, is, I think, is a very, very important thing. I'm just jotting down for you guys the things that I think you know a lot of people are missing out on. Fasting is fine. A lot of people will learn that when the fasting time comes. Zakat as well is another good one. Yeah? Zakat, a lot of people are not familiar with the rules of zakat. Um, these are some of the things I think is very important for Muslims to learn. Uh, you know, if you haven't learned these things, then learn them so that you know. If you have made a mistake in salat, then you know how to rectify it. If there's other people who have rights over you, like your parents or your spouse or your children or neighbors, then you know how to fulfill that uh, obligation and zakat as well, so you don't make a mistake in the calculation. So, Zakumullah khair, guys. I hope this video benefits you. Just to recap, what we covered. So knowledge itself over time grows anyway, but Islamic knowledge has always 100% been revealed, right? It's, it doesn't increase. It's like all revealed. Yes, when you learn it, you begin to learn more about the knowledge and your knowledge will definitely increase. So this knowledge that you have, how much of it do you need to know? So you need to know what will run your 24-hour life, the amount of knowledge that you need to know in your 24-hour life. That is something very important. Um, how do you learn this? Through studying or through asking a scholar, okay? And... You know, this is something which, like we said, you don't have to learn all of the knowledge. I personally would say if you learn the Quran cover to cover, you know what the Quran is talking about. And you learn, you know, how to pray your salat correctly and how to the rights of other people and these. You kind of will generally sort out all the questions that you might have. And you might get this one, one odd question, you know, uh, you know, a few times a month that you can ask a scholar or something. Right. And that's it guys. So Jazakumullah Khair. I hope uh, you guys benefit from this video. If you guys enjoyed this kind of work that I do um, and you like it, then please uh, consider becoming a patron, which means you become a monthly supporter of my channel. It becomes a Sadaqah Jariya for you as well. And um, you know, you help me, you help everyone else as well. 
Uh, and thank you very much. That's it, guys. So uh, details in the description below. And I will see you guys next time. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.